with plenty of reconstruction work and hundreds of millions of dollars already spent on the Gardner Expressway. Now, a possible mayoral candidate and some community groups want to revisit the money and kill the project, possibly making it a by-election issue. We want to get the facts about the Gardner. There's still time uh, to change a just course. And uh, what really what we're lacking at this point is just facts around what are the costs of the construction in terms of the, the ramps or the big uh, part of the uh, construction costs. Construction and rehabilitation of the Gardner Expressway has seemingly been never ending with plans to continue the massive project along the eastern portion for years to come. That includes rebuilding the section between Cherry Street and the DVP a little further north as part of what once was called a hybrid option to free up space near the Portlands. The debate over whether the work should be happening dates back nearly a decade when the alternative was to tear it down altogether. Money and traffic at the center of it all. Well, well, this is all about preserving the legacy of Fred Big Daddy Gardner, the Metro chair back in the 1950s and 60s. Uh, do you really want to preserve his legacy by rebuilding this expressway, or do you want to review the numbers and see if there aren't better options? In response to recent questions raised by councillor and prospective mayoral candidate Josh Matlow about updated cost estimates, City staff have said approximately $500 million has been spent on parts of the project already completed or under construction. Preliminary cost estimates for reconstruction of the new elevated portion is approximately $450 million as of last year. Even though that $1 billion is incomprehensible, what is comprehensible is that it's preventing us from doing a lot of the things we want to do to make a better city, to provide for people who are homeless, to provide for people with mental health issues, to provide operating funds for the TTC. Warnings from the city and those who say the connection is needed, that $450 million of work already done would be lost, plus additional costs related to another redesign if removing the gardener altogether was considered again. Any questions being brought up at next week's infrastructure committee chaired by Deputy Mayor Jennifer McKelvey would spark debate about the budget in years to come. This year's budget already approved. Work on replacing the section of the Gardner between Cherry Street and the DVP isn't expected for a few more years. Mark McAllister, City News.